Welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Eric Elkin. It's a tough time right now for many, but perhaps it's even more challenging for our community members living in isolation in nursing homes and assisted living facilities. From our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Yesterday, we brought you the story on how students at the J. Paul Taylor Academy are trying to break that isolation, if only for a moment. They connect online with residents at the Haciendas at Grace Village. Both residents and staff say they're grateful for the students. But it was that particular moment that moved one El Paso and so much he decided to become a surprise Santa. I know you want to wish your, your kids, you told them Merry Christmas already, but do you want to send a message to them? What do you want to say to them? That I love them and I miss them. Oh, they'll be back um, after Christmas break to chat with you again, okay? okay. And your family too? Uh -huh. You love them and you miss them too? I miss them terribly. After seeing that emotional moment last night, Rogelio Borciaga, who you see here, he sprang into action. He sent me an email saying he felt compelled to show he cares. ABC7 put him in touch with the folks at Haciendas at Grace Village, and today he delivered a special box full of presents to the 96-year-old. God bless you, take care, and uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Rogelio, so much. Oh, you're very Thank welcome. you. You saw how emotional she got. <laughs> she really loves I'm sorry. It. No, don't be sorry. It's beautiful. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> well, this was very special, and it was very it nice. Very special. <laughs> Rogelio sat from across the window at the door there as she opened her gifts, the video being recorded by the nurse. Among the items in the box were soft socks, a blanket, and warm-ups. And I uh, just, I'm so incredibly touched by this story because Rogelio took the time to not only see the story, be impacted by the story, but go about finding a way to make this happen a mere 24 hours later. It's just such a hard time already, the holidays, and then especially during the pandemic to be separated. It's wonderful to see people stepping up and trying to ease that burden and that pain a bit. And those were tears of joy, by the way, from the 96-year-old too. See.